Now, two McKee Foods employees mm -hmm. are being hailed as heroes after using their fire brigade training to save an employee's life. Aaron Farrar shows us what they did and how they're being recognized for their actions. 38 years on the job at McKee Foods, and Robert Dale says he's never felt better. I feel good. I feel good. But his career as a machinist there almost came to an abrupt end. Back on June 13th, Robert came right back to this building to get back to work after his lunch break. Just a few minutes later, he had a massive heart attack. And I hit the floor. That, that's all I remember. They could not find Robert's pulse. That's when Brett Carson and Ed Stuckey rushed in to save their co-worker's life, performing CPR and using an AED defibrillator to kickstart his heart until paramedics arrived. It was completely reflexatory. It was something that we trained for and we hope we never have to do. You really just hope that you've done all you can at the end of the day, you know, to give him the best chance he can survive. Their efforts are not going unnoticed. <laughs> Tuesday morning, Hamilton County Emergency Medical Services presented them <laughs> and the fire brigade with awards for their quick thinking and action. A three minute life affecting time of the bystanders, the CPR, and the fire brigade. Enough time for Brett and Ed to keep their friend alive. And I've worked with him for 15 years and around him with him and you know he's family. He's family to us. To Robert, they are more than family. Brett and Ed are heroes. They just I can say they just saved my life. It's a Thanksgiving and a Christmas time that this gentleman would not have had with his family were it not for the two people that, that jumped in early. And Robert is doing just fine. He actually returned to work here in August, and he says he's grateful for a second chance at life. Reporting in College Dale, I'm Aaron Farrar, News Channel 9. Brett and Ed are members of the Fire Brigade. They receive monthly training for medical emergencies, including performing CPR and using an AED.